Hey everybody, Backpack Hack here coming at you with another trail tip. Back in video number 25, I explained to you to go through your equipment list and find things that you can use as a signaling device. This video is going to show you how to use them. Now if you've ever watched the movie Cast Away with Tom Hanks, he sees a ship out on the horizon of the ocean, grabs a little pen light, and starts wildly flashing it, you know, waving it over his head trying to get somebody's attention. Well. Even if this did have the horsepower to reach out and get somebody's attention, wildly doing this is not going to work any more than going out and doing this trying to attract the attention of an aircraft. You are just not going to do it. The trick is to know where the light that is reflected off your surface is actually going and make sure that it's going in the direction that you want it to. And you've probably seen some videos here on YouTube where people are doing this. Or maybe they're using a V-shape like this. Whatever method works for you. But it's very, very important to know one thing. Parallax. When you hold a reflective surface next to your eye, your eyesight is going this direction. The light is coming this direction. And while they converge out here where you've got your hand, once the light gets past your hand, they are going to diverge. And to get a better idea of this, let's take a look from up above. To show you what I mean, I'm going to take this video taken of a photograph I took above me and show you that while my eyesight, my line of sight goes from my eye through the V in my fingers, represented by the blue line, that's my line of sight, the reflected light off of the mirror, however, goes off at a slightly different angle. This is what's called parallax. And without getting into a whole bunch of complicated mathematics and geometry and things like that, suffice it to say that the farther away the light travels, the farther away it comes from my line of sight. So this is the reason you want to make sure you understand parallax. You use a method like this, it's very important to know that the light is not going directly where you see, it's going slightly to the side. So you need to adjust a little bit. Now if I did this, it looks to me right now like the light should be hitting the camera, but it's not. I have to move about to there to get the light to reflect onto the camera. And I can do this quite easily because I can see the, the light strike the camera and then I move my hand over. And it's amazing how far you have to move over because of that parallax error. So the best thing you can do is take a friend, or go out and find some place wide open to where you cannot see your light, like down here, way down there, have somebody else go down there, and then you try to signal each other. You can't see the light strike them, but they can let you know that they see it. It could be an open football field at your high school, it could be a park, it could be a bike trail, any place where you and a friend can get some distance between you and actually practice doing this method. And it is something that you should practice. Don't just think, well, I watched this video, I know how to do it, or I went out and did it once. Go out and do it regularly. Do it just about every year. Especially if you're in the outdoors a lot, take a few times and get a signal mirror out and try it with a friend that you're hiking with and actually go out there and do this. So by understanding parallax, you get an idea of how far you need to move your hand to correct for it. One of the methods I use is to not use a partner or a friend out on the horizon. I actually use an aircraft. Now, since I don't have the ability to put somebody up in an actual full-size aircraft or helicopter as a spotter, I use the next best thing. I send my drone up in the air, and I'll show you the video of how I do that. What I do is send the drone up about 200 feet and about 400 feet away, and that's as far as I can get and still see it. So this allows me to practice signaling an actual aircraft up in the sky. There you saw me, and here I am. This way I can do this anytime I want without a partner. Let's look at that in a close-up image there. There's the flash. Be the reason you need to practice this is because when it comes time to actually do this, 
in an emergency situation, you aren't wildly trying to attract somebody's attention like they did in the movie. So this is Backpack Hack coming at you with another trail tip. Be safe out there, practice this technique, and I'll see you out on the trail.